that one time. The biggest coward is a man who awakens a woman's heart and her love with no intention of really loving her. The second thing I wanted to say is to the fellas with whom you assemble, you will soon resemble. So make sure you always check in your circles. I'm going to say that again. With whom you assemble, you will soon resemble. So make sure you check in your circles. The reason that I leave that for both of y'all is because women, and I'm going to say this today, I'm not trying to get on the fellas, but this is something that I realized, and I realized it in my own life. You see, you don't have a testimony unless you've been tested. I was tested all last year. How many people were tested last year? All right. How many people feel like they've really been through a test last year? I went through a major test. Right now, I'm fighting for my marriage. And I'm fighting for my marriage in a different way. I'm not fighting through arguments. I'm not fighting through ego. Ego is edging God out, which you can never do. What I'm doing is I'm telling ego to go sit down. I'm giving it to God. Because I can't heal her. You can't heal something when you were the problem. Do you understand what I'm saying? The industry I'm in creates huge egos. People call me Lem and I go, what's up? People say, I hated you when you stormed the yard. And I said, but you loved the movie, didn't you? Yeah. So I did my job. Yeah. Then people come back and they talk about, oh my God, Black Coffee was my movie. Yeah. Then some people talk about me in Chocolate City. Yeah. We don't need that one alone. Yeah. But what happens is the ego starts taking over. And what I stopped doing was I started paying attention to more of the people than I was my own wife. People would come up to me and go, let me get a picture. And then when I turn around, she would be about 10 feet behind me, opposed to next to me. Because I started paying attention to the fans more than I started paying attention to her. And what I mean by that is this, not that I forgot her, because I love her from her head to her toes. But what happened was when I was surrounded by, can I be transparent with y'all? When I was surrounded by energy, hear me now, fellas. When you're surrounded by energy, new energy, I'm gonna tell you a, a story just real quick. It's a joke that y'all heard Chris Rock said, but I'm gonna put it in a different perspective. He called it new something else. I'm gonna call it new energy. He said, new energy can't come. Y'all know what I'm talking about, what he really said. Right? You gotta make a choice. This is what was going on with me. So many people were coming up to me. So many people were giving me um, praise and, and just holding me up high. And I was like, yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did that. Instead of going, I was able to do that because she was doing this for me. I was able to do that because my stomach was fed anymore. I was able to do that because my clothes were iron. I was able to do that because I had hot showers and nice massages at night so I could get up in the morning in my right mind. See, what happens is, is when you get pulled into this momentum of me, 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 you forget it's really we, we, we. And even beyond my wife, and y'all can see I'm standing here, I don't even have on a ring. We got, we got into an argument. No, I'm going to tell you something. I can't get a teach. I can't get a teach because some of y'all are still married and going what I went through. But I'm giving you something that God is using me through right now to help heal you. People go to grass and greener on the other side. No, it ain't. That's, that's turf. That ain't even grass. Y'all looking at it like it's grass. Those are weeds. It's just green. What I'm trying to explain to you is this. Everybody just take a deep breath right here. It's going to be all right. You're going to get through it. What you got to do is get back to it. If you are not getting on your knees with your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your fiancés, and praying together, you may not be staying together. Because if you forgot what got you to the point where you are, you're in trouble already. Get on your knees together. 
Don't just pray at the table for the food. Pray that you got a roof over your head together. Pray that you got food in your stomach together. Pray that, that your clothes are clean. Pray that you're able to walk. Pray that you're able to say thank you. Pray that you're able to see. Pray that you're able to hear. Give thanks for each other. Because if that person, that man, or that woman wasn't next to you, you're going to feel lonely. And you're going to feel a lonely that you've never felt before in your life. You're going to look for that foot just to touch when you're in the bed. You're going to look for that person just to cuddle with. You're going to want to spoon, and the only thing you can spoon with is your pillow. It's not worth it. Fellas, she may have a nice figure. She may have a nice smile. She may have short hair. She may have long hair. She may have blonde hair. But she don't have the hair of your woman that's been taking care of you. And ladies, that man who's been covering you, helping you get your nails did, helping you get your hair done, keeping a roof over your head, paying your bills, taking care of your children, and sometimes taking care of another man's children. Taking care of another man's child. Honor that man. Because if you lose him, you might be in big trouble. So what I'm simply saying one is this. Each one, teach one. Yeah. That maybe we can reach one. Yeah. I didn't come here to impress you. I came here to impress upon you. Your history is not yet fully written. You are writing it as you think. Because as you think, you will also do. And as you do, you will become a result of your life. So I'm simply saying to you, I'm your brother in Christ. Amen. I'm your brother in spirit. I'm not perfect. I have done wrong things, so have you. Jesus said, those without sin cast the first stone, all of us won't put the rock down. Yeah. I'm simply saying to you, it's all right. It's okay to be upset. Sometimes it's okay to be disappointed, but you gotta let it go because you've been blessed by the best. And you can't forget the rest of what you've been blessed with. You've been blessed with the person that you sit next to. You've been blessed with the person that's been in the fight with you. You've been blessed with the person that may not tell you he or she loves you, but if they're by you, they're showing you. And for all of those people who came here with somebody who may not have hugged the person in a long time or told the person you love them in a long time, somebody you're sitting next to might feel unappreciated, unappreciated, and you don't even know it. Because you didn't extend yourself to them. They may have been doing things for you, and they just don't feel appreciated. Just take 30 seconds and look to the person next to you if you came with somebody today, and just say, it's nice to meet one of God's originals, and I am thankful to you and for you.